Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Joe Biden is poised for a blowout against Bernie Sanders in Michigan. Ahead of the state's primaries being held today, a recent poll shows Biden with a 24-point lead over Bernie Sanders, ahead 51 to 27 percent. If the numbers hold, it would guarantee Biden a signature victory in Michigan, a battleground state that helped Trump get elected in 2016. While Sanders still remains much more popular among under 35 voters, a number of these young voters aren't turning out at the polls, a large reason why Sanders failed to do well on Super Tuesday. Meanwhile, President Trump still wins in a head-to-head matchup against Biden in three states, including here in Michigan. The poll taken by Optimist last week shows Trump ahead with a narrow lead of two points in Michigan and Wisconsin and a one-point lead in Pennsylvania. Trump fares better against Sanders, who's trailing the president by seven points in Michigan, six points in Wisconsin, and four points in Pennsylvania. Mississippi lawmakers are considering a ban on eugenic abortion. House Bill 1295 would prohibit abortion based on race, sex, or genetic abnormality. It's heading to a vote in the state house after it was approved by a legislative committee last week. Under the terms of the measure, abortion is found to be in violation of the bill would face up to 10 years in prison and have their medical license suspended or revoked. Activists are pushing to expand California's assisted suicide law. Lawmakers in Sacramento are considering shortening the 15-day waiting period, broadening eligibility requirements to include Alzheimer's and dementia patients, and allowing doctors to approve suicide requests long distance through electronic telemedical consultations. Between 2016 and 2018, more than 800 Californians have killed themselves with the help from their doctors. A Pakistani Catholic once condemned to death for blasphemy is rallying persecuted Christians to hold fast to their faith. In an interview last week, Azia Bibi urged Christians to stay strong in the face of persecution. She affirmed that our Lord is with them in the midst of suffering, saying, quote, everything that has happened to me has been a test and God gave me strength to remain firm in my faith, close quote. Bibi spent almost nine years on death row in Pakistan, accused of insulting Muhammad after drinking from a well used by Muslims. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today. Michael talks about purity of heart. God bless you.